Okay, in this video uh, we're going to look at a series of different printers. Uh, there are three types of printers that need to be covered on the AS computing course and these are categorized as two types, non-impact printers and impact printers. Two non-impact printers are laser printers and inkjet printers, whereas an impact printer, often known as a dot matrix. We're going to start by looking at a laser printer. Now a laser printer is known as a page printer. What this means is the printer itself processes a full page at a time before printing the page all in one go. In comparison, an inkjet printer is a line printer. It prints a line at a time. You can often see this if you look at an inkjet printer and watch a page being printed or a photograph being printed. You can see each line being generated at a time. For now we're going to concentrate on the laser though and as we said a laser is a page printer. Here is the diagram that represents the insides of a printer then, a laser printer. Now the first thing that happens is the image in drum which is represented here, this is coated in a negative charge. So we can see all these blue circles with negative signs in the middle, this rep represents the negative charge. Now the printer, as soon as somebody clicks on print, the printer generates a bitmap of that page and we can see this here. A bitmap is where a page is represented as a series of zeros and ones. For example, that's where it gets the name bitmap from. So the bitmap is generated by the printer. A laser beam is then used to direct the bitmap onto the print drum. Now it does this via a series of rotating mirrors and here we can see what it says here is the scanning mirror and there's an arrow that represents rotating. So the bitmap of the page is generated by the printer this is sent to the laser and the laser beam is shone at the drum via some rotating mirrors. The laser is said to be modulated that means turned on and off so the laser beam is constantly modulated, turned on and off. And what the laser is used for is actually to remove the charge or neutralize the charge on the drum. And we can see that here, that point where the laser is hitting the drum, that negative charge has been lost. Now the laser printer does this at areas where the image should be dark. So the laser beam is shown and neutralizes areas that should be dark. So here is the bitmap that's generated by the printer, directed to a modulating laser beam. The laser beam is shown at the drum via a series of rotated mirrors. We've got an alignment lens that aligns that with the drum. The drum is rotating and this allows the image to be placed onto the drum all in one go so the image, the drum is rotating. The drum that was previously coated in a negative static charge where the laser beam is shone at it, it is neutralized. So toner is also given a charge and as this charged drum rotates it picks up toner. This diagram represents this a little bit more. We can see in the middle, we can see the rotating drum. And we've got the toner supply is here. So as this drum rotates, it picks up, the charge drum picks up the toner. The toner is transferred from the drum to the paper. And as that's transferred to the paper, it then reaches another part of the laser printer which is the fuser. So in the fuser pressure and heat actually fuse bond the toner to the paper. So that is how a laser printer works. So one further diagram here, represent part of this again. 
So here we can see the laser. We said before the laser is modulated, it's turned on and off. It's directed at the drum through a series of rotating mirrors. The laser removes or neutralizes the charge on the drum. The drum is rotating. Toner, which also has a charge, is applied to the drum. The drum picks up the toner and the toner is then fused to the paper. So in comparison, an inkjet printer works line by line. As we can see here on the diagram, this represents the ink cartridges on an inkjet printer. A laser printer uses toner, an inkjet printer uses ink. With an inkjet printer, we tend to have a black cartridge, a cyan cartridge, a magenta cartridge, and a yellow cartridge. Some printers do have more cartridges, but these tend to be a dark cyan, a light cyan, a dark magenta, a light magenta, etc. With an inkjet printer, the print head, as we see here, which has the ink inside it, this moves across each line of the paper. This is repeated line by line. Now how this works, how the ink comes out, is that behind the ink reservoir there is a heater and the heater warms the ink reservoir. This vaporizes droplets of ink and electricity is applied to the piezoelectric crystal. Piezoelectric crystal deforms, once the electricity is applied, it deforms the crystal shape. And this allows squirts or spots of ink to be dropped onto the page. So just to run further again, there is a heater behind the ink reservoir. This is warmed up and vaporizes droplets of ink. Electricity gets applied to the piezoelectric crystal. The electricity being applied to it deforms the crystal shape and this allows the droplets of ink to be squirted out. With an inkjet printer, some colors are produced from mixing ink spots that are fired together. After the inks came out, the heater is turned off, ink cools. This is repeated for all colours and for each nozzle. The electric current is switched off to the piezoelectric crystal and the crystal returns to its original shape. As we said, the printhead moves across each line of paper. The ink dries before the paper emerges from the printer. Here is another diagram that represents the internals of an inkjet printer. An impact printer, also known as a dot matrix printer, uses a series of pins that strike a ribbon and these pins hit the page through the ribbon and cause ink to be transferred from the ribbon onto the page. Here is an example of a ribbon used in a dot matrix printer and this is showing a two colour model which has black and red. Dot matrix printers tend to be made up of a number of pins um, we've got for instance here 7 pin, 9 pin, 18 pin and 24. They build up letters on the page by each pin striking the ribbon and you can see here where we're gradually making up some of the letters. So here is the letter S 
that's being produced on the page. Impact printers are still used today where we need to make carbon copies of documents. For example, the ink is produced on the first sheet. Because of the impact, this causes a second, a third, i.e. Triplicate, triplicate paper um, to have then documents printed. Other examples of where this may be used is on secure documents like wage slips. Impact printers can be used and on the inside secure information can be printed. Impact printers are very slow and can be very noisy due to the number of pins that are striking the paper.